Stop killing me. Stop killing me. I told you. I told you. We love you, brother. Do the right thing for the black line to hold How dare this mayor and city council have the guts to give migrants $51 million? I demand you to have the same passion and urgency to pass the city of Chicago reparations ordinance and also give us an office for black Americans, just like the new Americans. We didn't have the luxury or the opportunity to cross the border. We didn't have the privilege to cross the border. We came over here stolen, beating, chained in the bottom of ships, and you give migrants $51 million? Have you forgot who you are? Or, or, or let's go to Michael Jackson when he say, look in the mirror. I urge you to get conscious, to realize who you are. Our ancestors are looking at us. All right, guys, so we got to talk about Chicago once again, okay? And the reason why I'm talking about Chicago so much is because I really want to see what this progressive wonderland utopia experiment actually turns out to be because they tell us that in order to solve all of these issues in these inner liberal cities, they just need to become more liberal, right? They're not liberal enough. They need to be more progressive. And Chicago, uh, they voted for that, right? They voted for a progressive soft on crime, stupid on education, uh, pro-sanctuary city mayor and uh, Brandon Johnson. And now they're getting what they voted for, okay? As I did a video just yesterday about the violence that happened over Memorial Day weekend in Chicago after Brandon Johnson implemented a woke public safety program, right, to try to stop the violence. And it just epically failed on the first weekend, okay? And now we'll see going into the summer, whether or not his woke safety program actually works. We'll see. But in the meantime, he has to worry about more than just violent crime. Uh, he needs to worry about the migrant crisis, which, again, he came out here and said while he was campaigning, okay, he said once he got in office that, hey, you know, we got to take care of migrants. We have to be welcoming to these people, again, because he's woke, right? And this is who the residents of Chicago voted for, particularly the black residents of Chicago. They voted for this, and now they are pissed off. They are pissed off that Brandon Johnson uh, and the city council uh, have approved giving illegals 51 million of their tax dollars. Take a look. Where's the 51 million going that's going to last us only to the end of next month? And what happens July 1st when we're broke again? Frustration boiled over during a fiery city council meeting as residents and aldermen disagreed on how taxpayer dollars should be used when it comes to migrants. Ultimately, $51 million in funding was approved to help care for asylum seekers in our city. Casey Cronus has the story now from City Hall. Passed in a 34 to 13 vote. That money will go toward housing, food, and other resources for new arrivals. But the decision did not come without contentious debate. The bottom line is um, we're a sanctuary city. We've been bragging about it forever. We did nothing to prepare for it. Since last August, more than 8,000 migrants have been dropped off in Chicago from the Texas border, with shelters and respite sites overrun. Families have been living on the floor in police stations. This is unacceptable. But those opposed to a massive budget amendment are questioning how the city can suddenly come up with so much money for new visitors when local communities remain neglected and homeless individuals are sleeping on the streets. How dare this mayor and city council have the guts 
to give migrants $51 million. During the city council meeting, the public weighed in. We have not gotten anything for our community. And we are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Enough is enough. And I voted for you, Brandon. With tensions running high, arguments and interruptions were frequent. I would ask that you would do it with some level of decorum. I believe that we can have public discourse without demonstrating the worst part of our debates. That $51 million covers the remainder of a projected $102 million that it will cost the city to care for migrants through the end of June, with the rest coming from the state and federal governments. But it's unclear what will happen when this money runs out. Reporting from City Hall, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago. Yeah, so you've seen that, you heard that, okay? Uh, just because I'm not trying to be repetitive here, right? I mean, there's not really much I can say, right? There's not that much I can say that I haven't already said, okay? Uh, clearly, the Chicago residents know that they voted for this, okay? What I find to be hilarious is the one woman talking about how, I voted for you, Brandon. Do the right thing, brother. We love you. <laughs> Which tells you everything you need to know about why some of these fools voted for this man because he's black right they voted for him because he's black not because of the things that he literally was telling you he was quite literally telling you all this stuff that he was going to do that these people are now upset about before he got elected okay he didn't lie right he showed you exactly who he was y'all said oh he's black that's my brother right that's my brother right therefore i'm gonna vote for him and look what happens now, again, the, the, the question is, <laughs> what are they going to do after the $51 million, you know, runs out, <laughs> right? Well, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to keep asking for more money because the crisis is not going to end. The bus is going to keep coming from Texas, <laughs> right? Greg Abbott is going to keep shipping the illegals to Chicago. And they're going to keep spending more money because Brandon Johnson told you. We got to take care of them no matter what, right? There's plenty of food here for everybody. There's plenty of resources here for everybody. And you have to share those resources with people who, you know, a lot of these black people don't think like them, right? They don't think like black folks. It's just hilarious. But I do feel bad because it's not just the people that voted for Brandon Johnson uh, that are suffering from this. Uh, you also have some people there as well, too, of course, that probably didn't vote for Brandon Johnson and probably didn't vote for Biden that are suffering, Okay. Because I did a video just a few days ago about white Chicago residents who also right, are upset, okay, with what's going on. The fact that they're going to be housing illegals in their community. On Memorial Day in their new adopted city, migrants linger in the shade outside a newly opened Northwest Side shelter. Wright College is supposed to be a home just for the summer. We were told there'd be nobody here till June the 1st, and they're already here. So if the city lied about the day they're going to get here is are they lying about when they're going to leave this is an absolute slap in the face to those who come here after a fiery meeting late last week the city opened the doors to the temporary community shelter on sunday they are now some of the nearly 4500 migrants sleeping in city sanctioned shelters across chicago many of them have next to nothing to their name at the sight of something new, small children scampered to Jimena Moriano as she doled out a few tiny toys into their waiting hands. I turned the corner and I saw all the kids sitting in the grass and I'm like, I gotta go get them bubbles. A mother of three grown children, Moriano says she couldn't just pass by. We're all human beings, so I think everybody needs to realize that we just have to help each other. Chicago is now home to more than 9,000 migrants and the city says more than 550 are still living on police station floors. Alderman Nicholas Pizzotto wants federal work permits for migrants expedited. They want to work. They're not here to live in shelters or sponge off of America. Uh, give them an opportunity to work. Still, Spizzato plans to vote against a $51 million plan to fund shelters and migrant services like this one in his ward for the same reason many don't want migrant shelters in their neighborhoods. If that $51 million was for all homeless people, I certainly would support it. But since it's only for asylum seekers, I do not support it. 
The city says this temporary shelter at Wright College is supposed to stay open until August 1st, but some people in this neighborhood are questioning that timeline. City Council is scheduled to vote on that $51 million funding for migrants on Wednesday. Yeah, so again, you see that, you heard that, okay? Um, it ain't just black folks that's upset. Everybody's upset in Chicago, right? And I think that maybe the best way to cure racism, right, is to have, you know, uh, Democrats or progressives run your city, right? Because I think black and white people can come together and agree that, hey, you know what? Uh, maybe being tough on the border, being tough on illegal immigration is, in fact, not racist, right? It's not racist. It's just common sense, okay? It, it really is. You don't want people coming into your community uh, that are going to be causing crime and taking up all your resources, okay? I mean, there, there's news about how the food pantries in Chicago are going thin, right? They literally don't even have food to give to the American homeless people anymore because the migrants are taking it all, right? They're eating all of it. It's just amazing because they told us the exact opposite before, right? They said that, no, 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 illegal immigration doesn't do any of that. Like, illegal immigration is a net positive. What are you talking about? It's not a strain on the social net safety net. You're a bigot, right? <laughs> They're not going to cause more crimes. They're not going to be a problem. You're, you're, just, you're just a xenophobe, right? You hate Latinos. And it's like, nah, right? We just use common sense. We, we know what happens when, you know, you bring people here from another country. We don't know who they are. We don't know where they're from. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you just put them in the community. I mean, they bad things happen, right? It's not a good thing. So anyways, uh, again, this is fascinating. It is truly fascinating um, to watch uh, Chicago go down this road of the liberal uh, wonderland that oh, a lot of these citizens voted for. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.